So mainly what people are coming in and asking for is water. And so we have uh, several organizations and individuals that have donated pallets, um, truckloads of water, and we are here to serve them as well. I know a couple of people are looking for th uh, a hot meal. We're here to do that from 12 to 2. We were doing that anyway um, Monday through Thursday, and we now have extended it to Friday. Uh, we'll be here every day until um, we can't be here anymore, but we're definitely here for the people of Beverly and whatever their needs are, if they could just convey that to us, we'll try our best to fulfill them. We're in the process of setting up a command station for them to come in and do paperwork for FEMA or whatever, or for their help with help with their insurance or any, um, any government agencies or anything that they need in order to get them some help to be back into their homes safely. Uh, the biggest need is that, so yesterday we had a food truck. We partnered with Harvest Region um, of Texarkana, and they brought a food truck out, and we were able to pack boxes for those people that have been displaced. And so if, uh, although they may not have uh, a bed to lay their head on, their stomachs will definitely be full. I am overwhelmed, 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 overwhelmed. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, several organizations have brought in water. We had uh, the women of uh, the Women Tea Party of Texarkana, uh, Katina Livingston is the head of that. She got, came out the day before, the day of, and brought out hot dogs and chips and stuff like that for us to serve the kids. Over a hundred hot dogs or whatever. And so I called her back and asked her the next day if it was okay if we served the community. And she was definitely by all means. Man, I, I I've been through Katrina. I've been through it all, man. Like I've come from New Orleans, relocated here, and I just felt like I'm not gonna stay in the community, not gonna perform and. Ask people to support me in the community, I'm gonna support them. Also, shout out to Lowe's, they've been a big blessing. Shout out to this community center, this is a blessing. And just a blessing is to give back. Come come to the Beverly Community Center, that's for two. First one is trust God, God work it all the way through. There's a, there's a lot of damage. Oh, I had the ability, uh, got the, uh, the chance to drive around this morning and I said drive around and try to make it um, in and out of the different neighborhoods and saw there was a lot of trees down. Um, on, on utility poles as well as on people's homes. And so there's a great need in, in this neighborhood. And so the other thing I'm seeing is that we're, we're getting help. People are, are bringing in donations. There's water coming in, there's coal trees and different things. People are um, out of electricity. Some don't have uh, water as well. And so uh, the Beverly Center is kind of functioning as that, that station for people to come in cooling station, but also a feeding station for people who want lunch. We're also working. Um, we have a couple translators here that's helping people fill out forms to get their forms to the state of all the damages that's happening in the neighborhood. So I'm hoping after we get those filled out, then um, Red Cross can come in and, and help bring in some resources to help some of those people. Call the uh, P-S-T-A-T.T-D-E-M dot texas.gov and so that um, has a form that they can go and fill out their information and it is in Spanish and in English but it allows them to um, kind of help with the assessment of dam damages and help to kind of move that process on along a little bit quicker so we can we can get the resources to help them with the recovery. Um, she was laying in bed uh, all of a sudden she heard a lot of wind and she decided to sit up and see what was going on and as soon as she did uh, the tree fell and uh, crashed right into where her uh, bedroom was at. Mm, where is she now? Uh, at work, just went to work. She just went to work? Yes. Sir. Okay. Out of the properties that you own here, is this the one that has the most damage to it? That is correct. So what's next for you? Um, crew over here about to uh, start refurbishing, reconstructing this roof line up here and hopefully have it uh, shingled up by Friday the worst that has happened to any of my properties besides just a fire at the location. But I have five houses that are still without power within a four block radius. We fixed a roof yesterday, two blocks down, had to put weather heads back on uh, houses on the other side and just cleared trees from multiple locations to be able to access the power lines for SWEPCO uh, all day yesterday. Yes, we're out in the community here passing out uh, food, hot food and cold meals to out in the water uh, for anybody who is in need, whether they're out of uh, electricity or had damage from the hurt from the tornado. Anyway, anybody would love to help anybody. These meals are provided from the cookie lady and these are my sons here. Then 
a, another generous family donate this water? I haven't been out here that long from California, so this is all new to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two years in, no, I haven't, this is the first time I could say I've seen something like that. But I don't think it was the heart of the tornado, it was like the wind, the outwinds of it. So even though you got the outwinds of it, the tail of it still did some minor damage around here. Just siding, maybe, nothing, no roof material. Maybe some flashing off the roof, some of them, but not bad though.